Hello, I'm Prashant Miranda, and I've been documenting my life through my visual journals for more than 25 years. I first started keeping a diary at the age of 12 after reading the diaries of Anne Frank. It was remarkable for me to see how a teenage girl could have such insight into the goings-on of the world through images and text, and what a profound impact it would have on the rest of the world. My written di diaries evolved into visual journals when I went to design school at the National Institute of Design in Ahmedabad at the age of 18. And that changed everything. I started documenting things through images and text, and I've been keeping a sketchbook since then. I was intrigued by the sketchbook diaries of children's book authors like Beatrix Potter and the codices of Da Vinci, whose rough sketches and ideas were the essence of great inventions and classic books. I've been drawing since I was a kid. All children draw, but I just kept doing it. It occurred to me that I should attempt to try and do a work of art every single day. And so I started drawing simple objects and tried to make a mark of how I was feeling at that particular moment in time. Sometimes it was my aching knees, or other times it was the need to document aspects of my life which I knew were fleeting moments that I would never experience again. So on my summer vacations in the 90s, I would sketch my high school or people in places in Bangalore where I grew up, where everything was changing all too quickly. Later on, when they tore down our school, which was built in 1892, I realized that I'd captured a moment in time that didn't exist anymore. And a simple sketch of mine brought back so many memories. Very quickly, my sketchbooks became my best friends. I would bind my own books and personalize the covers, recycle old paper, and pour my heart out into them. They chronicled my dreams, songs, phone numbers and addresses, recipes, simple day-to-day -day events, things I see in front of me and the madness in my head. And, uh, you know, I learned to pen down my ideas through watercolor images and writing. My early sketchbooks in turn were the loose jotting down of my ideas for animation films, character sketches, people and places, which really helped me come up with concepts and ideas when I was working in the animation industry in Toronto. These ongoing scribbles would become 3D puppets that would be animated and come to life in TV for children, shows for children. But after three years of working in the animation industry, I knew that I wanted to pursue my passions as an artist and simplify my life. I was terrified. I had a steady income and bills and responsibilities to take care of, but I knew that this was the path I wanted to take. And so in order to figure this out, I took a train up to Moosonee in North Ontario, where I camped alone in an island on the Moose River, which opened up to the James Bay and the Hudson Bay way back in 2002. I had no camera with me and stayed up there for a week with my tent, supplies and sketchbook. It was here that I saw the northern lights for the first time. All alone and with nature that night, I didn't feel alone at all. I had no recording devices but for my paper, my pen and watercolors. It was a profoundly magical experience and with this in hand, I began to travel and document my life and adventures through my watercolor journals. So this is my studio. It has my pens, uh, my watercolors, and my sketchbook. Um, so for the last 15 years, I've become a migratory bird where I spend my summers in Canada and my winters in India. I had to make my work portable, and watercolors was the perfect medium for this. It dries quickly, and it all fits in my bag. My studio became the beach or under a tree in the forest, a pub or a coffee shop. I even use the water from that place to paint. So if I'm by the ocean, I paint with seawater or rainwater or even beer. So the energy of that place infuses itself into my sketchbooks. In this regard, my sketchbooks have become time-traveling devices. I'm a very forgetful person 
Well, when I open a sketchbook from five or 10 years ago, I'm immediately transported to that space and time. So sketchbook keeping has become a way of life for me. It's something I do every day. Putting pen to paper or watercolor to paper is a meditative activity for me. It forces me to slow down, to wait for paint to dry, and helps me observe uh, things that I would otherwise take for granted and which would be so fleeting that if I was to take a photograph, you know, I wouldn't remember it. So if I'm feeling worked up or agitated, keeping a visual journal immediately calms me down. Whether it's doodling or writing text, it puts me in a different frame of mind. It makes me happy. Sketchbooks are great memory keepers. They are storehouses of so many memories for me. They record all snippets of my life that I often tend to forget. So over 25 years now, I have piles and piles of sketchbooks that are beautiful reminders of my life that I would have easily forgotten. So journals, my journals have evolved over the years. Different seasons and periods of my life have different sensibilities. And now when I look back at my books, I recognize patterns. My autumn sketchbooks would have particular colors or my winter sketchbooks would have recorded more dreams and have a different mood altogether. Keeping a sketchbook is a practice. It's much like cooking or gardening. You've got to do it every single day. Uh, and once you do it every day, it becomes a part of your life. I have three P's that I keep in mind. Passion, practice, and perseverance. These three P's are very important for me because the more you do it, the easier it gets. Sketchbook keeping is not about capturing the a reality that I see in front of me. Sometimes it's about capturing the essence of how I'm feeling. This would be a simple doodle, a mark that you make, a piece of paper that you stick in your book. And when you look back at it years later, that mark or the words that you've written, the memories come back all too clearly. So I have over 300 sketchbooks now that chronicle my life and travels through India, Canada, Spain, Cuba, Italy, you know, the list continues. Um, these travels have inspired my animation films on trees and the environment, children's books, and has introduced me to various issues like education and literacy, conservation, indigenous rights, and so on. Keeping a visual journal has enriched my life in so many ways, and I'm addicted to it. I'm a chronic doodler for so long now, and I love it. Somehow these nascent doodles have a capacity to transform people's lives, and I do know for certain that it has transformed mine. And I do hope that it could make a difference in your life. Thank you.